on a Street Fighter arc. Has not been practicing this game much by his own admission. Has not felt the entirety of the same fire to compete that he has in the past. And when he practices his combos, you see it. When he doesn't, you see it in his play. Yeah. His neutral, his spacing is always still there. But we're going to watch to see, does he even look for some of these openings? Or is he just going to try to win neutral here so, so much more well, than he, we ordinarily might expect from him? Following that, Peach, this is a neutral queen in the business here in question. And you can tell from playing all those fighting games, you have to develop all those footsies and funnies, especially in Street Fighter. It is what you need. And Ling already 100% up on Bobo right now. You would think this might be a tricky matchup with with, with uh, Snake and his grenade play and everything, up dropping your combos, and dropping your strings and everything like that. But Ling is flawlessly acing that and looking to zero it up on this first stock. Yeah, Ooh. one of the awkward things here is that if you keep your play keep away from the grenades, they only cover right a set arc or a set angle. And Peach with float can be so flexible in the angle of her approach, in the angle of her movement, as well as turn it to disrupt, that as long as you take things patient, it can be really hard to pin her down. And once Snake has the opportunity to get set up, you have the ability to anti-air her to contest. But right now we're just seeing Bobo kind of get caught up in Ooh, some of the snake thing. Okay. Oh, to the corner. Oh, no. Peach bomb, baby. And that was the uh that was the zero to death that, uh, you know, Ling, Ling cooks. No, I see oh, that no, fire is full force. That fire you were talking about that may be in question, it is no longer in question. He is just smothering Bobo right now, a character that would usually kind of be really hey, oppressive. Guys, Pers Bobo landed a back air. He finally landed a single move. A single move. He got another one. Aside got from the grenades, one. trying to go for the F smash, you're not going to get that today, dog. Ling. Definitely looking to just turn up so much, not letting Bobo have any room to kind of breathe in this game. And this is Oops. the only damage that... Oh, oh, no! That was 40%, but somehow you drop that axe on him, drop the stanky leg, and find the stock. Bobo starting to settle a little bit right now that he's actually trying to scrap. He's not leaning on dash attack nearly as much, Dang. or up tilt, nearly as much as you would like to see against Peach. And that's really what cost him. him. He was he got caught up in the snake stuff. He got caught up in the movement, the setups, trying to stay away from Peach, and in turn just gave basically built a maze, but then sat in the center as Peach found her way through, found her way through, and then just hit him for it. Yeah. And then just hit him for it. Bobo, get him washed by the Peach, get him put out to the beach. Gonna be getting knocked out at ninth place, I believe. He got sent out to drive with the cheap cheeps. Man. That sounds like a lovely scene. If you, I know everyone has seen the Mario Kart stages, especially the Wii stages at Cheap nighttime. Cheap Beach, baby. Yeah, at like the oh. evening time, the orange so sky. Pretty. Oh. What's your what's oh. your favorite what's your favorite Mario Kart Wii track aesthetically? I think it's the Daisy Circuit. Daisy Circuit? Or you know, the one with um I guess it's her, I think, and Luigi yeah. with the statue. Yeah. Mine is Maple Treeway. I mean 